Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for joining me here today for another pick a card reading. For those of you who may be new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Melissa, and the topic that we are going to be reading on today is your next job or career path. So the reason I wanted to do this video today is because I do have a video on this very same subject that I uploaded a couple of months ago, and that video uh, has really taken off and been like the most popular video on my channel. So that definitely tells me that there is a demand for videos like this, which makes sense. I think a lot of us right now are in career transitions. We are looking for new jobs. We are on a job search, definitely opening up to new opportunities. And so I thought it would be nice to record another version of this video just so we could get some updated energies for those of you who are still on that path. So what we're going to be doing, you guys, in this reading is just looking into the next new job opportunity that's headed your way. So this reading can apply to you whether you're currently looking for a new role or whether you are just kind of wanting something new but just starting to put feelers out there. Or maybe if you're just curious, right? Maybe you're not looking at all and you're just kind of curious to see what you're currently manifesting as the energy stands today. Um, so any of those scenarios can apply in today's reading. So we'll get some qualities and characteristics of what the role is, and we'll close out the reading with a little bit of guidance and advice for you as you're on your career search journey. Keep in mind, this is a timeless reading, so messages can resonate regardless of when you're guided to view the video. And also keep in mind, you guys, that you're not tied to this outcome. So if you choose a, a pile and you are not loving the new job that is predicted out for you, when it comes your way, you just gotta say no <laughs> and move on to the next. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our card or deck selection for this reading today. So we are gonna be working with three different decks today. Starting here on the left, we've got some Peach Moonstone, and this is the Modern Witch Tarot. In the middle here for deck number two, we have the Urban Tarot, and we have some Pyrite. And deck number three is the Golden Tarot, and here we have some Strawberry Quartz, which is so sparkly and beautiful. So I want you guys to kind of close your eyes, tone down your energy, relax, take a deep breath. I want you all to think about the next new job opportunity headed your way. What is this job going to be? And whenever you're ready, go ahead and select the deck or the crystal that your intuition is guiding you to. So really pick with your gut instinct versus your eyes. And when you are ready, go ahead and scroll down to the description box below and you can click the timestamp that corresponds to your chosen deck. See you at your reading. Hey everyone, for those of you who selected deck number one with the beautiful Peach Moonstone, let's go ahead and get into your reading all about your next career, your next job. So I'm gonna start by shuffling on camera here so that we can kind of get started with this reading. Um, but I also have some pre-shuffled oracle cards that we will be adding in to get some additional insight here, okay? So let's go ahead and see. For my pile number one viewers, anyone selecting this peach moonstone, what is the next job for them? What is the next career opportunity headed their way? I'm sorry, you guys, this deck is really hard to shuffle on camera, so bear with me. One more. Okay. All right. So we've got the message of the Four of Cups. We have the High Priestess. Okay, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck here, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. So 
I definitely feel like this new opportunity that's coming in for you guys is it might be something that you guys are already kind of working on with that eight of pentacles being here at the bottom of the deck or maybe it's like um it definitely feels like there's this undertone of like hard work to be able to achieve whatever this is okay because the eight of pentacles really talks about us really like perfecting our work really refining our skills nose to the grindstone you know what i mean making sure that we have all the details um, of what we're doing and that we're doing a really really good job um, this is also kind of like a learning state too, right? Because the more that you practice, the more that you learn. So there's very much this undertone here of you guys maybe already kind of working in this particular field or already working on this path. Now, we do have the energy of the high priestess here in the heart of the spread. And I definitely feel that maybe a lot of you guys viewing pile one are intuitive or you're empathic, or this is a career field where you're gonna be able to utilize those skills of empathy and intuition. And intuitively, I'm feeling like maybe this is you guys working from home or working on the internet because she's got the laptop here in her lap. And over here in the Four of, um, the four of Cups, we have a cell phone here. So this is making me think that you guys might be starting something or uh, starting a, a new job where maybe you're working from home and maybe you're doing something perhaps a little outside of the ordinary of just like a regular nine to five. I'm really not getting major nine to five vibes from this, to be honest. Maybe the eight of pentacles is talking about um, for some of you, you've already done this like nine to five. But I, I still feel like this is a work from home situation because even in this, when I'm looking out the window at the city, it's like, she could be in these office buildings, but she's at home. At least that's what how I'm perceiving it. So I definitely see that for a lot of you guys, like this is an opportunity where you're gonna be able to help others with your psychic gifts, your compassion, your intuition, working online <laughs> for a lot of you. I definitely see here with the Seven of Pentacles that this, this definitely feels like something that could be a little bit newer for some of you. Or again, if it's not new, it's like something that's still needing a little bit more time to grow because the Seven of Pentacles, you know, talks a little bit about um, us still needing to push forward. Like we've planted some seeds, we're still nurturing and watering those seeds, but we're still needing a little bit more time and energy put into the situation before we're gonna see it grow. And so with this Four of Cups being here with her shirt says, <laughs> I love this, I love this card. It says over it right here. So there could be this like element of maybe a little bit of frustration or apathy around whatever this is when you initially start it, because maybe when you first get in, it doesn't blast off as quickly as you wish it would, especially if this is something you guys have already been studying or perfecting in terms of whatever this craft is for you. I also, I don't know why, but when I see the shirt, I think of the Summer Walker album. I'm pretty sure it's called Over It. Maybe some of you guys have a message in that album, even though that album's mostly about love, it's not really about like career, but maybe some of you are like dealing with a relationship issue while you're going through this new career change. That could be there for some of you. Um, but I feel, you know, that there is sort of this element of dissatisfaction at the beginning, whenever you guys slide into this. So even though you're very talented and gifted here, pile number one, there is sort of this feeling of like, ugh, <laughs> like this isn't quite working out the way that I wanted to right away. Um, and I also feel that maybe because you guys are being a little picky with yourselves, or maybe some of you guys have perfectionist tendencies around your work, especially with the seven of pentacles being that earth energy. Many earth signs are about that perfectionist energy. and. So maybe things aren't looking or panning out the way you specifically wanted them to, but because you are fixating on that, there is this energy here of like a, a potential opportunity that you're missing or something else within this role that you're not seeing clearly because you're so fixated on the image of what you want it to be. So just something to keep in mind, but it definitely seems like this is a work from home, internet sort of job. And I feel like it's, it's around helping and guiding people. So let's see what else we get here. All right, so we have the message of the athletes. This talks about dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. Okay. 
and then we also have the angel helping those in need with no expectation of return so you know you guys like the high priestess is a very psychic card and so for a lot of you guys this this could talk about you guys being psychic and pro providing psychic services or tarot readings things of that nature um, but this could just very simply reduce down to like you guys being in a type of job that's going to be able to help others and i do feel that this is something you all are very passionate about because this talks about helping those in need with no expectation of return so you're doing something here that you really love that you really want to do i just feel like maybe when you first slide into it it's not quite giving you exactly what you what you thought it would um, with some of these other cards here or there's going to be more work that's needed to be put into this now with the athlete here this is kind of interesting so for some of you that chose pile number one there could be like an actual physical element of this role so maybe for some of you like i could see this being online fitness coaching or something like that or something in the wellness industry the physical wellness industry but this athlete energy also talks about willpower it talks about strength of spirit so Again, you guys are helping other people strengthen their own spirit and motivating them and being like that champion for them and that cheerleader for them as you're talking them through whatever it is you're providing guidance on. But I also feel that this is a message for you all that this job is going to be something that's going to require you to continue to push yourself. Um, you guys are going to have to really, you know, come to terms with like, okay, I have to push through. I have to keep going. I have to remember that things don't always happen overnight and so i think this is really a message around that stamina piece where it's like you know we're making sure that you know we're continuing to push through okay so let's get a couple more for you guys pile number one okay Ooh. <laughs> okay so we have the message of venus coming through so i definitely see this as being a the type of job that you guys are going to really love doing you know venus is definitely all about love among other things um okay and then we also have the sun card yes this is beautiful so when i think of the sun you know i think of this being the type of job where you guys are really going to be able to focus on self um, and helping others be their best self as well i think there's an element here of comfort and beauty in this role as well um, that you guys are going to really like so maybe there's like an aesthetic aspect to this like if you guys are doing some sort of work where you're working from home you have an online business or something like with venus coming through and the sun i do feel that this could be like speaking to you guys having some sort of you know image or branding image that you're putting out there that really helps you to set yourself apart from others out there on the market I also feel like with Venus coming in, I, I definitely think that this could be talking about some aspects of this role for you, this job that you're doing is, is it's like, it's just further clarifying that this is something that you guys really resonate with on a deeper level, you know, because Venus does talk about the things that we value and what we hold near and dear, um, and also about the things that we are idealistic about. So. I think whatever this is that you guys are doing is something that feels very true to you and really in alignment with your values in life. And if you guys are doing like help, like helping others or counseling for others with Venus coming through, I think of relationships and love. So you guys could be doing some sort of like, you know, counseling for relationships or guidance toward people that are in like love situations as well. With the sun coming through too, you guys, I wonder even more, like if this is some sort of new business venture that you all are starting. Um, because the sun, if we think of your sun sign, the sun, your sun sign has to do with the day that you're born. And so I'm thinking of like a birthday of this business, if you will. But again, like this does talk about your yourself, like your sense of self, how you stand out, your personality and things like that. So I feel like all of those aspects are infused into what this is all right so the last card we have is the card of prosperity which is beautiful pile number one so this says you know as this tree grows so strong and fine so may I prosper from the universal divine so this is just saying I feel like this is going to be a job where you all are going to be quite prosperous and quite fulfilled 
And if it doesn't feel like that right at first, you guys are just really being guided to be patient with yourselves because it's gonna take a little bit of time, especially if this is a brand new business venture that you guys are trying or a brand new something that you're trying, if that doesn't resonate, it's like, there's a lot of potential for this to grow and plant roots and be able to support you for the long term. Um, but it just, it's not gonna happen overnight. You have to give it time. So beautiful energy pile one. Let's go ahead and just close out this reading for you with just a word of advice from the tarot as you guys are navigating this job search, job transition, or whatever your career situation is right now. Let's go ahead and see. So for pile number one, let's go ahead and grab some advice for them, please. All right. The Knight of Wands, follow your passion, pile one. You know, so as you're on your job search, you know, especially if you guys like were transitioning out of that Eight of Pentacles energy where you're working like that nine to five, more mundane routine job, like if this is something that you all are really passionate about, Spirit is guiding you to go after your passions. Go after it head first. Don't be afraid. Jump in and be fearless. You know, don't be afraid to just like go for your dreams because the Knight of Wands is someone that just jumps right in and they're like going after what drives them. So that's a beautiful note for us to close it out on for you, pile number one. Definitely let me know in the comments down below how this message resonated with you. I always love hearing from you guys in the comments and I really appreciate any and all of you that do leave a comment. It really means a lot to me. Um, Thank you all again for taking the time to view this reading today, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey there, pile number two. If you all selected the pyrite, super abundant crystal, and the urban tarot, let's go ahead and get into your career reading. So we are looking into the next job coming in for you, the next opportunity, career opportunity headed your way. So we're gonna go ahead and start off here with Shuffling these cards on camera so we can get a little bit of insight into what's coming in for you. And I did already grab some uh, pre-shuffled oracle cards off camera that we will be adding into this reading. So first we're going to kind of get into the description of what this job is, what this role is, and then we will pull some advice to close it out for you guys. So for pile number two, let's go ahead and see what's the next job opportunity headed their way. What is it? Tell us about it. All right. Woo. Okay. So we've got justice. We've got the Ten of Swords. Okay, hold on, that's too many. And we have the Ace of Cups. Wow, lots of interesting energy coming through for you guys, all right. Okay. So with Justice coming up, like the first thing that I think about is something within the field of law for some of you. So this could be talking about like judges, lawyers, law enforcement, um, something having to do with laws, HR, HR deals with laws and things like that. Um, so there's definitely this element here of like fairness that you're gonna have to apply in this role really being impartial is coming through really, really strong here. And I do think that for some of you, like with the 10 of swords coming up next to it, it, this could be the type of job where you almost have to like turn a blind eye to really negative things or make yourself really neutral and impartial to potentially really negative, hard hitting energies around you. That makes a lot of sense with law, you know, like anything in that field is gonna be a little bit tough. And, um, you know, you see bad things in that field if that pertains to you. Um, but I definitely feel, let's take a look a little bit closer at this justice card. You guys have the sword of truth. Look, 
I didn't even notice this, but this person's wearing a badge. So this is sort of like representing some sort of official. So even if it's not specifically law or law enforcement that you all could be doing, this is an this is like a very official type of position here. And again, like you are holding the sword of truth. So truth and getting to the heart of the matter is going to be really, really, really important in this job. Because again, with that 10 of swords, you could be in this job having to make some really tough decisions that impact people. And so it's like really important for you to sort of keep an even keel and sort of be like blind to the emotion behind things. So even like the 10 of swords card talks about ruin, which is like, you know, self-explanatory, right? And in this, oh, I just realized what that was in the card. I don't know if you guys picked up on that, but it's like drugs being depicted here. Um, which again, like it's, it's making me feel like this is tied into like some sort of like law or law enforcement field. So if any of you guys are in that field, definitely like leave me a comment because I don't feel like people in that field watch my videos. <laughs> Maybe you guys do, I don't know. Um, so yeah, this definitely feels like something where you guys are having to like keep the bad in check for some of you. But with the Ace of Cups being here, I do see that there's like a lot of emotion behind this for you. Like this is cer certainly something that you all feel very emotionally connected to, even though you might be seeing negative things every day. Um, you know, the Ace of Cups is like, we have an overflow of emotions. This is like the most pure form of excitement and love and overflow of love that we can have in the tarot. So there is an element here for you all of being really emotionally connected to this. And this could be a new start for you in career. This could be some sort of a new um, energy around this, around your career in general, because Ace of Cups typically talk about new beginnings, right? So this is making me feel like for some of you guys watching this, whatever this job is, is bringing some sort of a new emotional fulfillment into your life that maybe you haven't had in previous roles. So let's see, we, we're gonna pull a few more cards here for you. All right, so we have the Midas Miser, okay? And then we also have the Warrior, yeah. You know, so the Warrior, this is about like, like this is where this Ace of Cups is coming in for me because this talks about like, self-sacrifice in conquering the ego, strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. So it's like you guys have a very active role in this job. When I think of a warrior, this is someone that goes out there and like physically does stuff. They protect people. Um, they, it's like when it talks about self-sacrifice, I really think of that Ace of Cups because it's like that's such a selfless thing to do. And so I do think that there is this energy for you all that chose pile two of like very selfless energy where you're kind of going out there, putting yourselves out there, doing your work, and you're not even really thinking about yourself because you're thinking about like other people or you're thinking about the bigger picture that you have to accomplish with doing what you're doing. And I definitely feel with the warrior that this role is going to take you being really strong, like physically strong, mentally strong disciplined, you've got to be tough, right? To deal with some of the things that you all may be seeing on a daily basis at your role, at your job. So then we also have the Midas Miser. So on the light side of things, this talks about entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial <laughs> or creative ability to turn anything into gold, delight in sharing life's riches. Um, you guys may be helping people here, like maybe helping people in need. We also have on the shadow side, hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear of losing your wealth. It's interesting because I'm really not getting a lot about money coming through with this role, you guys, um, like at all, if, if anything. Um, I'm almost wondering like if this could be the energy where it's more metaphorical for you because this talks about turning anything into gold. So it's like, taking lemons and trying to turn them into lemonade like seeing the positive even in the most negative situations could be something that you guys are required to do in this role this does also talk to talk about entrepreneurial and creative abilities and so maybe there is an aspect of this role with that ace of cups where you guys are going to be able to be creative or 
be able to try new things as you go about solving problems in your day-to-day -day life or day-to-day -day responsibilities, if you get what I'm saying. All right, let's see what else we get. So we have the energy of Pisces, water sign coming through. We also have Jupiter, wow. Okay, um, so Jupiter and Pisces together, that's like really expansive energy, I feel like, which is exciting for you. So Jupiter really talks about um, growing, expanding, exploring. It talks about abundance as well. So I, I do think that there's a lot of abundance coming in for you all with this role. And it could be, it could be financial related. Um, I keep being drawn to like how this character in the card, his head is like really big. It's like expanding into the planet of Jupiter. And so I do feel with all the swords that we saw here that this job is going to provide you with like the opportunity to sort of think about the world differently or think about things differently than you ever have before. Like there's a lot of mental energy coming through with your cards. Um, so there's mental expansion for this, for you in this role. Um, yeah. It's almost like you guys are like going back to that justice card, it's like this role is really providing you with the opportunity to expand your understanding of things and like see the world from a higher perspective than you have before. But it, this is also like a really beautiful optimistic energy as is Pisces at times too. So I think again, even though you guys might be dealing with tough stuff on the day to day, um, you guys still have this internal sense of love and optimism pouring from your heart, which is you know, connecting you to the fact that this is clearly something that you love. This may feel like a mission for you, like a life mission in some ways. So with the sign of Pisces, this is really interesting. So like Pisces really talks about like intuition. It talks about also creativity. Um, it can talk about psychic abilities as well. But I also feel like Pisces in this sense is talking about like it's talking about more like the humanitarian side of your work, like the compassionate side. Because when I think of the sign of Pisces, like they're very sweet, they're very sensitive. And so again, it's like you guys are bringing this compassion into the field that you're working in. And it seems like a field that really needs compassion. You guys may also be empaths or really in tune with the emotions of others. And this could also be where like the struggle is for you at times with this, because, you know, with you guys being really compassionate, again, with that Ace of Cups with Pisces in this job, it's like you have to sort of turn that off because you've got to be fair. Like I keep feeling like you guys have to apply law <laughs> in your work. And so the thing that can suck about laws is that they don't always feel good. You know what I mean? A lot of times they're just doing the quote unquote right thing, but the right thing doesn't always feel like the thing that makes everybody happy. So that could be a little bit of a conflicting energy that you all experience as you navigate this role. So then we also have the message of magical powers. It says, I weave in clear, I cast and know magic secrets to me now show. So yeah, you guys are very intuitive as you're navigating this role. Um, I think this is just further clarifying those energies of intuition and I think that you guys are also allowing your intuition to guide you as you make choices and decisions throughout this job. This also kind of talks about like magic secrets to me now show. Like I feel like in this role and again with Pisces kind of talks about this too is like you're kind of seeing the dark side of things. Like you're seeing things that most people don't normally get to see every day. Um, like secrets of the universe in a sense or of whatever like society that you work in. So this is really interesting pile two. Let's go ahead and close out your reading with a little bit of advice from the tarot for you. I wasn't really expecting a reading like this. So I'm definitely, if I sound a little thrown off, there, I am. <laughs> so sorry. All right. So for pile number two, what guidance or advice do they need to know with regard to this job or their job search? or just their career in general. Okay. 
Ooh, so the Six of Cups, we have the message of pleasure. So I feel like this is just telling you guys to not lose sight of your compassion, your love, your relationships, because the Six of Cups does talk about relationships. But I also think there's they're saying here like, don't be afraid to still infuse fun into your life as you're continuing to search for jobs. And actually the Six of Cups also talks about familiarity and comforts. So this job might be something that is naturally in your comfort zone for some of you versus like a totally new career field. So I almost feel like this is saying go with what you feel comfortable with and what makes you feel good. This could also be talking about like the past as well, you guys. So maybe this job opportunity comes about from connection, connecting with someone from your past or connecting with someone that you have a history with. Um, so if you are on a job search and you're looking for a new role currently, that could be something you may want to investigate a little bit further to get connected quickly to this role. So we are going to go ahead and close it out there for you, group two, but definitely let me know how this message resonated with you. Um, thank you all so much. If you stay till the end and view the whole video, I really, really appreciate your support. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye. Hello there, group number three. If you all selected the strawberry quartz, and the gold tarot. This is gonna be your reading all about your next job. So let's go ahead and start off by shuffling your tarot cards on camera. We're gonna start off this reading. The majority of the reading is gonna be us getting into what this job is. And then the back half of the reading, really like the closeout portion of the reading is gonna be more like guidance and advice for you as you're navigating your job search. So let's go ahead and see for my pile three viewers. What is the next job opportunity headed their way? Tell us about the role. Qualities and characteristics for Pile 3's new job. Okay, so we've got the Three of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups and the Empress. Ooh, beautiful energy. Pile 3. Okay. All right. So for my pile of three viewers, I definitely feel like this job is something that definitely has the, the, the ability to go long term, go the distance. Because the three of wands talks about like long distance. It talks about planning. It talks about being future oriented. And all of our figures are kind of facing the right hand side, which is like the future. So I do feel for a lot of you as you slide into this role, you're going to see that this is something that could potentially set you up for long term future success. I also feel with the Three of Wands that this could be a job where you guys get to travel a lot because Three of Wands does talk about traveling. Um, it also talks about like sending people out to travel, right? And then waiting for them to return. So you guys could be doing something where you're, you know, sending employees out for travel or to do work for you and then you're awaiting for them to come back with the results and things like that. But I definitely see with the Knight of Cups that there's an element of this role that um, is really like outgoing. So I do feel that you guys will have to sort of like talk to people and um, really lead with a very like heartfelt charisma. Um, for some reason, I don't know why I'm feeling like this could be a sales role for some of you with the travel and then like the that kind of schmoozy energy of the Knight of Cups because this energy is very much about like winning people over through kindness and um, and love. You know, so I do think that that could apply to sort of those sales type of roles where you have to go out and like, you do have to connect with customers and clients to get them to want to purchase from you, right? That could be some scenarios for some of you. But this, this is just talking about you getting to lead with your heart, you getting to express yourself from the heart. Um, you know, it's emotional energy, lots of water here, which is really nice. And what I'm seeing in the background with this water is the water does look a little choppy. Do you guys see that? So there could be some elements of this job that are emotionally, like maybe a little bit more challenging for you at times. Um, but it's like, you'll still have to maintain this sort of charisma and charm <laughs> to get things done. Now with the Empress energy, this is talking about um, 
this is beautiful energy. So this could be talking about a lot of different things, um, self-care, uh, caring for others. This also talks about like compassionate leadership. So it's like with the Knight of Cups and the Empress here, like there's a lot of beautiful, loving, nurturing energy coming through. So if you guys are in like a leadership position, for some of you, like this is talking about you guys will be, be able to be kind of like this more feminine leader. Um, and when I talk about feminine, I really just mean the energy of the feminine. So if you're a masculine watching this, you know, that doesn't mean you're going to be like a woman or something. That's not what I'm talking about. What I mean by that is like feminine leadership is more the leadership of like being kind and compassionate, um, still having boundaries and getting things done, but it's not necessarily that assertive energy where we have to like really go out there with a lot of like, you know, um, aggressiveness or cutthroat type of energy, we can kind of handle people with a much softer approach in this role, which I feel would be really nice for a lot of you. I know that would resonate with me for sure. We also have the little baby here. So this talks about like, the Empress also talks about giving birth. Some of you could be dealing with like childcare is coming through. Like maybe there's something with childcare for a lot of you, daycare, something like that. Um, rabbits here talk about fertility. So it's like, that could be an element of the job for some of you guys viewing this video. But I also think that, you know, the baby is also a metaphor for, you know, you guys giving birth to a new creative idea. So maybe for some of you guys, this job is centering around cr your creativity as well and being able to ideate with other people or just ideate for yourself. Um, so let's continue. Let's continue with our cards. So I have some Oracle cards that I shuffled off camera so let's kind of see what these add to the reading okay so we do have the energy of the damsel okay and then we also have the thief okay all right so the damsel energy does talk about like, I, when I think of a damsel, I think of like rescue. <laughs> I think of like you guys rescuing someone or helping others, right? Like the damsel in distress is like that typical like archetype that we think of when we hear the word damsel. Look at this, waiting for night to provide you provide for you seduction by romantic illusion. So that does kind of tie into that energy of the Knight of Cups where sometimes in this job, you guys are gonna have to like really charm people and win them over with your, with your words, okay? Romantic illusion. <laughs> um, that's so funny. Um, understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. You know, so this could be the type of role where you guys are really flying solo. You know, maybe you don't have a lot of colleagues and coworkers near or a manager that's with you every day. You know, so maybe in this role, you're also learning to stand tall and stand confident being on your own. Cause like the Empress is the divine feminine. So even though she has her divine counterpart with the divine masculine and the emperor, this isn't really an energy that would be like fiending for that support. Like she's okay by herself. And so, this role could be a role where you guys are really guided and learning how to just be more confident doing the job alone and just relying on you to get the results you have to get. Now, this is interesting. We have the thief. This talks about sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. We also have the shadow attribute of stealing money, creative ideas, affection, or other powers you think you lack. So this could be like, people in your field, like people around you, your colleagues, your coworkers, things like that, where like you guys are maybe surrounded by seedier characters at times, especially if this was like a sales position, which is what I was kind of feeling when I first started reading on this. Um, that can be a cutthroat industry, right? Where you're gonna have some people that are so focused on the dollar that they don't care. They're just gonna do what they need to do to get it done. That's coming through for some of you. But I also am really being drawn here to this heart and the way that it's kind of like hidden inside of the jacket. And so it's like, I do think that even though you guys have to be like charismatic in this role, I do feel that it might be the, a type of role where you can't necessarily show your true emotions all the time, okay? Like you have to maintain this sense of like professionalism or neutrality here 
So it's like you have to close that jacket and hide your heart, hide your true feelings about things um, while still maintaining this, this charisma, this outward feeling of like happy char charisma. Okay, let's continue. All right, so we've got air. So lots of ooh, communication coming through. Makes a lot of sense with that Knight of Cups. Okay, we also have, ooh, we have the moon. That's beautiful. So yeah, you guys, with that air energy coming through, this is definitely a job where communication and like maybe even travel, like I think I already said that, but travel is going to be key. Um, I do feel that you guys are gonna have to really be making like smart, clear-headed decisions in this job, you know, like decision quality, thinking things through is coming to mind because with the moon card here, I definitely think that there could be some aspects of this role that could feel emotional for you or could feel um, maybe even like vague at times. And so you guys are gonna have to be able to like navigate those decisions and navigate those circumstances through being clear-minded and clear-headed um, by, again, like hiding, like not focusing on how you emotionally feel, but focusing on like the facts. Very interesting. But definitely like communication coming through for sure with that Knight of Cups and the air energy, 100%. Um, yeah, and, the, and you know, the moon card, you know, this is very much again about like intuition. It talks about like, you know, emotion. So I definitely think, like I was saying, that this is going to be a role where you guys are maybe experiencing emotion. That was like one of the first things that I picked up on, but. Um, it's going to be important again for you guys to kind of cut through that. It's almost like there's a balance I'm picking up here between like going with your intuition, but then making clear headed decisions like head over heart or do I do like the written rule or do I go with my gut is kind of like the, the thing I'm feeling here. All right. So then we have the message of peace. This says, Brigitte, God, goddess in your sacred name, a light within me, peace is flame. So I definitely think that this role is gonna help you all to achieve a sense of peace. Maybe you guys have been looking for a job for a while or you know, maybe you're challenged right now on your path and I definitely feel like this sense of relief whenever this role comes in for you. Um, I also think too that there is an element of peace that you will find within this role. So it's like, even though it doesn't necessarily feel like it's all rainbows and sunshines, like no job ever is. <laughs> so there is something that you're doing in this role that is bringing you like that sense of peace for sure. Let's go ahead and grab one more message of advice for you for pile three before we close this out. So what does pile three need to keep in mind as they navigate to this role or as they navigate their job search just in general right now? The Emperor, this is so funny. You guys have the Empress in the job and your advice is the Emperor. So the Emperor is about boundaries. This is about setting clear boundaries. This is about um, sticking to your foundation, right? So I think when you guys are going through your job search, you're, you're really being guided to set really clear parameters around like what kind of role you want and is the role really gonna set you guys up for long-term future success, right? I also think too, like if you guys are currently in the search phase, this is saying to use more of your masculine energy. So even though you may identify more with this energy, which is why you land the job that gives you that energy, as you're searching, you need to be exerting more of that masculine energy of like putting effort out there, outputs, if you will. Applying for jobs, talking to people, networking, doing all of the action that you need to do. I also think with the lion coming here, this is really catching my eye courage is coming through. So some of you guys may need to work on your, um, like your presentation in front of others, um, your confidence, the way that you present yourselves to the world. That's also a message that's coming through here as well. So it looks really interesting, pile number three. You'll have to let me know um, 
how this resonates with you, definitely drop me a comment. Keep me posted on how your search is going. And if you all made it till the end, thank you so much for joining me here today and I will catch you in the next reading.